Vancouver is one of the best places to go to if you're looking for an amazing winter vacation. And that's because the city comes alive with all the festivities during this time of the year. So the lights are already magical as it is, and the snow made it more fantastic. <laughs> After spending a magical Christmas with Daddy during his first few days of vacation, we wanted to scale it up a bit and show him how beautiful winter could be in this city. So in this video, we'll be hopping across different parts of the city to showcase some of the best places to go to in Vancouver, Canada during winter. Welcome to a very cold Whistler day. If you guys missed the previous vlog, my dad is here and we've been touring him around the city. And of course, we can't miss touring him around one of our favorite small towns here in BC. But it is very challenging right now to roam around Whistler because it is very cold. BC is being hit right now with an Arctic outflow, which means we're getting like negative 17 temperatures here in Whistler. And I think it's going up to negative 25 this evening. But yeah, we're already here, so let's make the most out of it. Whistler is as beautiful as we remembered from the last winter season. There were lots of holiday decorations and fluffy piles of snow, as well as snow-filled mountains that if you look closely, you'll find skiers making their way down the slopes. As much as we wanted to spend more time outdoors, it became a bit hard with the cold winter temperatures. So we decided to take a break for lunch at one of our favorite ramen places in the village. This place is called Oyama Ramen and it's located a few steps from the village. We always love coming here because of their theming that makes you feel like you're eating in the streets of Japan. Good thing they were able to take us right away and we were able to enjoy their delicious savory ramen, the perfect way to warm up our bellies in this cold Whistler day. all bundled up because it's negative 17 right now. So we're here right now at Belaya Lumina which is one of our favorite activities here in Westler. Max and I have tried this before but during summer but we've never actually tried it during winter. Might not be the best time to do an outdoor activity because it's so cold right now but Daddy is here and we need to make the most out of it. So we bought the tickets for the 5 o'clock time slot, but I think we're a bit early, so they're not quite open yet. And also I think that 5 o'clock is their earliest time slot. Yeah. So we're just over here at their base camp around this campfire because it's the best thing that's keeping us warm right now. Nice and toasty. <laughs> <laughs> 5 o'clock came, and then 10 minutes after 5, and then another 10 minutes after that. Which made us think that there might be something wrong. It turns out, due to the extreme cold temperatures, their equipment started to break down and eventually had to cancel all the bookings for the evening. Good morning guys! So yesterday's event was a little unfortunate, but I guess it's for the best because it wouldn't be a great experience anyway because of the weather. But not to worry because we still have a lot of activities where we can bring daddy to. So this morning, we just grabbed some breakfast from one of our favorite breakfast places here in the city, Purebred. So right now, we are about to bring Daddy to one of the closer mountains here in Vancouver. So after about an hour of waiting for parking, we finally made it up to the mountain and I think we're about to go to guest services to pick up our tickets. I'm all bundled up right now. <laughs> it's so cold. So normally we just purchase our tickets from the Grouse Mountain website, but this time we purchased our tickets from a website called Vancouver Attractions, which kind of required us to pick up our tickets at guest services. So after this, we have to line up going up to the gondola, which adds a bit of more time. But we did save up 25% on buying the tickets though. 
Just a quick tip for you guys if you're coming here is to allot two hours ahead of time. You're probably going to need some time looking for parking, lining up for the tickets, and lining up for the gondola ride. Welcome on board the Gross Barrel Super Sky Ride. My name is Nicholas. So please ask that you remain your current sky location with the mask over your mouth and nose. The entire duration of the mask is the mouth. Oh, I'd also like to see you again. It's sweet. The Gross Barrel is located on the unseen territory. The Gross Barrel is located on the unseen territory. The Gross Barrel is located on the unseen territory. We've had all the opportunity to live, work, and... Daddy, how's your first gondola ride? <laughs> Busy. <laughs> it is so busy up here. I feel like we are in the North Pole right now because we have Santa's workshop order here. Yeah, I wanted to check out the reindeers. Daddy, welcome to the top of Vancouver. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I am so loving this weather compared to the weather from yesterday because there's no actual wind chill and it's only minus 9 and as advertised by Gross Mountain you got unlimited visibility so you can see the city from up here Eddie, what's your rating? 1 out of 10 10 10! <laughs> wow! <laughs> so we're just kind of right here at the rental shop because previously when we were here before this was kind of the best spot to see the city by foot so if you don't have like skis or, or snowboards, this is the, probably the best spot you can go and see the city. If you don't own any snowboards or ski, you can also rent here. So we've gotten our food from their in-house restaurant and it's called Lupin's Cafe. So the food in Lupin's Cafe is mostly burgers, poutine, and pizzas. It's really busy right now, especially it's the holidays. But the good thing is we found this table with overlooking view of the city. So if you're looking for the best time to come here, we would say it's probably after lunch hour because by the time you get on the gondola and into the mountain, it's probably like around sunset time, or around 3 or 4 o'clock and you get to see the sunset a lot and also you can stay for a while for the magical lights. One other place that we wanted to bring my dad to while he's here is a place called the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Now Max and I have actually been here before but it was during summer and also they have an event going on from November to January called the Capilano Lights where they fill up the entire place with Christmas lights. Sadly the parking was full when we got here but the good thing is they have an overflow parking and they have a free shuttle that will bring you here in the canyon lights. So we kind of have the same strategy with the Capilano Suspension Bridge. We bought our tickets from Vancouver Attractions, which gave us like 20% off. But we are going to get our tickets from the guest services. And hopefully, the lines aren't too bad. Got the tickets! So thankfully, the lineup wasn't too bad and we get to experience entering through the magical glass door. <laughs> for VIPs. <laughs> Separate from the others, right? Yeah. <laughs> Waking up to my hobby Right next to yours Could it be a dream come true? We got our BC Annual Pass, which is probably good for a year. So if you are a BC resident, you have the ability to get an annual pass if you buy a regular admission one time. So the annual pass is going to be for the next year. And that I learned while I was in the washroom. I saw it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
That's a lot of people. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Another it's suspension windy. bridge! <laughs> it's swaying. Oh you okay, Daddy? <laughs> it gets worse down there. Oh, really? I know. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're distracting me! <laughs> Just look at the good stuff. Not sure how stable it's gonna be the footage over here, but we're trying. <laughs> The lights are so magical. Take my picture. There you go. Safe ground. <laughs> How was the suspension bridge? Mahaba. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of nice after the suspension bridge because they have like a small cafe in there. So if you're feeling a little bit dizzy, grab yourself some hot chocolate and continue on with the Capilano suspension bridge park. Next up, we're going to climb up there. I think he lost Daddy. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> so aside from the suspension bridge, you also have this treetop adventures here in Capilano, where basically you get to hop between the gigantic trees in the park. So the lights are already magical as it is, and the snow made it more fantastic. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite parts, aside from the suspension bridge. <laughs> I just feel better knowing that someone out there loves to see me whether a full day or just one night. I guess I just sleep. <laughs> Not bad. So we have just checked in on our hotel for New Year's Eve. Tonight we are going to be staying here at Blue Horizon Hotel here in downtown Vancouver. So kind of the same during Christmas Eve. We kind of just felt like we wanted to be somewhere else other than home. That's why we booked this hotel and especially that is here. We were actually supposed to go to Seattle and cross the border for this vlog since my dad is here for the holidays. But with the ever-changing COVID restrictions, a lot of that has changed and greatly impacted our plans for the holidays. One major thing that we're going to be missing this year is the New Year's Eve fireworks here in downtown Vancouver. That was also cancelled as well. But yeah, tonight we're still going to be checking out some stores in here in Robson, tour my dad around, and we also have a dinner reservation for New Year's Eve. I think it's still gonna be a good night. But before we go, we wanted to just show you guys the view of this hotel. It is pretty amazing. So I think we were upgraded to the 20th floor for this hotel. This is the east side of the city and you can see all of the, the buildings over here. And here is the north side. So you can see the mountains. So for our New Year's Eve dinner, we've chosen a Malaysian restaurant, which we haven't tried for quite a while. They're called Banana Leaf and they have multiple locations around the city. So the last time we were here was about two years ago and I think it was also the New Year's Eve dinner. Last time we did the 12 course meal, that's 12 course per person which we thought was all too much food. So tonight we're gonna be dialing it down a little bit and just do the nine course meal. Daddy, ready to eat a lot? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Yes! Ending 2021 with a blast. This restaurant gives you that Malaysian vibe. It's also crazy that the reservation we did was a little bit tentative. Because of the changing COVID restrictions, they weren't sure if they're going to open on New Year's Eve. And the good thing is they did. That's why we're here. Okay. So I think this is the green Asian salad papaya and pineapple, tatay beef, and crispy calamari. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> okay, so that's the fish. This is ch curry chicken. We got some prawns, spinach, and some rice. 
<laughs> so even if it's like nine courses, they do serve the food together. So after the appetizers, they serve like five courses of plates. So you can enjoy it all together. With all the sudden changes and cancellation throughout this week, we're still super glad that we were able to enjoy our time with my dad. And we were still able to give him a great time during his visit. 2021 has been a crazy year for us with all the travel and adventures. But if we were to pick a few favorites, no hesitation that we'll pick the ones where we get to spend time with our loved ones. 